decide what to order now. What are you getting? Uh, the same thing I always get. A short stack of pancakes and a side of bacon. Doesn't matter what time of day I come here. It's always the perfect meal. Well, that's not very adventurous. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? For someone who loves lemon in his water, I would have expected you to want to try something new every time you came here, rather than fall into a routine. Alright. Well, how about you try to prove me wrong? Show me your more adventurous than I am. How? Order something totally random. I mean, I'm not really picky, so anything would be random, really. No, but I mean completely random. When Angie comes back, I want you to close your eyes, put your menu on the table, and slam your finger down. Whatever it lands on, that's what you order. But what if it's something disgusting, like uh, meatloaf? Doesn't matter. You still have to try it. But that's gross! Well, how do you know if you haven't had it here before? Maybe someone else's meatloaf just gross. But perhaps here you'll find that it's delicious. Well, what if it's something I've never had before? Like, some weird foreign dish I can't pronounce? I, I doubt there are many of those here, since it's, you know, a diner and all. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, take a risk. Put a metaphorical lemon in your water. Try something new. All right, you're on. Excellent. So, uh, what do you do for a living? Well, I'm an accountant. How exciting! <laughs> you're a comedian then? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the least funny person I know. So you can't do that to yourself. That's for other people to judge. You see, pretty funny to me. Well, okay, there's this one time, this is so embarrassing. I was in college, and my friends and I were at this bar, and it was open mic night. And I had a couple of chocolatinis in me, and my friends convinced me to do stand-up. They all said I was pretty good at it. Maybe it was just the drinks talking, or they were just trying to be nice. Maybe it's because my whole set was merely me just telling embarrassing stories about my love life. But I always wanted to give it another try, to see if I could really make people laugh. Then why don't you? It's too late for that now. Well, why do you say that? I mean, I'm 42. So you still have half your life ahead of you. I'm also halfway to death. Lemon? <laughs> no lemon. Even if I wanted to, I wouldn't have the guts to put myself out there like that. I'm not the same person I was in college. It's never too late to try something new. Well, looks like my time is up. Do you two know what you want to order? I think so. I'm going to have the pancakes, but make it a short stack. I need to maintain my slim figure for my beautiful day. Oh, stop. And a side of bacon, extra crispy. And for you, doll? Well, let's find out. Eggplant parmesan? Ooh. One of my personal favorites. You'll absolutely love it. It doesn't have nuts in it, does it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm allergic to nuts. No, dear. There are no nuts in it. Great. Thanks. What? Don't laugh at me, Mr. Accountant. See? You are funny. Nuts and eggplant farm. I guess you're right. I've never had eggplant, though. I don't know what to expect. So, no lemon. Where are you trying to stand up again? Afraid of trying new foods. I know. I'm not making a good impression right now. That's not what I was getting at. Your impression isn't good or bad. It's just you. And that's all I want to see. I want to learn about you, too. There. The important thing for right now is that you show me who you are, and I like that. I'm surprised I'm being so open. Ever since my divorce, my love life has been a mess, and I've been too scared to put myself out there. I was. I am. I'm so scared of being hurt. I never thought I'd be able to date again, let alone. What? Have fun. It's never too late. Let's try something new.
So anyway, I told Marcus that Coach was considering cutting him from the starting lineup if he didn't pass the chem exam, but he didn't believe me, and now I'm kind of worried he's going to fail. Is that really your problem? Of course it is. I mean, it affects the success of the team, but also he's my friend, and I'm not going to let Coach talk behind his back like that without letting him know. You were a really good friend. You helped him study. You know I would, but I'm barely passing as it is. The only reason I have is because Alex sits in front of me and holds his paper up every time he checks his answers. <laughs> I mean, it's not like I'm trying to cheat off of him, but like, he makes it too easy. It's like I'm just staring off into space and there just happens to be an answer key right in front of me. <laughs> well, that's a mystery, Andy. Uh, he throws me over a Bunsen burner if he knew. You know, he likes me even though I'm not his best student. He says he likes my positive attitude. He is one of your best traits. Besides my stunning good looks, right? <laughs> And you, of course. <laughs> You're my best half. That's not possible. No, but it is. I mean, you are my best half. No, I mean, a half by nature is one of two things. The best is the curly bad you think, so it apparently has to refer to three or more. <laughs>